Hello and welcome along to Adobe After Effects Basics with your host Robert Smith. In this um, video we're going to look at something called presets. Now Adobe After Effects ships with lots and lots of presets which will give you some really nice animation start points. So let's get stuck in. First of all we're going to look at the text presets. I've got a comp here which is 10 seconds long. I've actually set some type. So let's have a look how we apply the presets. First of all, I have to select my layer down here like that, and then go to Animation, Browse Presets. Now you have to have Adobe Bridge installed to be able to browse like this, and it's always a good form to have Bridge anyway. So I'm going to double click on Text like that. That's the one I'm looking for. And the one I'm looking for is in the Blurs category here. We have lots and lots of categories. And as you can see, when we open it up, we see these little previews, and if I click on this on the right hand side over here you'll notice that we get a preview of what it actually does. Here's my favorite bullet train. It just looks like a bullet train. Evaporates a beauty too. Foggy as you can see. I can just have a look at them and see which one I like. Now the one I want to apply is this thing called bullet train. So to do that I'm simply going to double click on it like that and you'll notice your type's gone away but if I was to play it now using a RAM preview like that that's exactly what it does. It's using something called the uh, Type Animators, which is something we'll look at in future videos. But as you can see, it just simply does that. Okay, so let's have a look at what's happening. Let's get under the hood. If I press the letter U like this, you'll see that these are the two keyframes attached to that bullet train effect. And as we drag our playback head, we can see it happens. Now, if we want to make it faster or slower, we simply drag that second keyframe to the left to make it faster or to the right to make it slower. So let's just drag it to the right and have a look at that. So now our effect takes a little bit longer to happen. Okay, now I like to see fast blurs like that, so I'm going to drag it back to about one second. I might zoom in a bit so I can see my timeline a bit better like that. About one second. Okay, now what I want to do is, like everything After Effects, it comes on, stays there, and goes away. So let's get rid of it. Now, once we've looked at it and read the text like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this keyframe here, the second one, and copy it, Command-C, and just place it in here, Command-V. to. So in between here and here, nothing's going to happen like that. And if I select the first keyframe, Apple-C, copy that, move it a little bit past my third keyframe, and Apple-V to paste it. Let's have a look at that. So on the type comes stays there for a while and then goes away nicely <laughs> which is what we want thing, our things to happen in After Effects okay great so let's have a look at another one that's one of the simpler ones bullet train works very effectively let's have a look at jet stream so I'll just double click here I've made another comp here with some text in it so I didn't type it in it wouldn't take too long so let's apply an effect to that so I simply select the um, layer like that go to animation browse presets now, this time I'm looking for one in the text folder, the multi-line, double-click on here, and I'm looking for something called Jetstream. <laughs> if we look over to the right over here, it's a pretty dramatic looking effect. <laughs> so I'm double-click on that to apply it, and let's play it and see what it looks like. As you can see, <laughs> it's a pretty dramatic effect. So it flies all over the place, and then continues to do this little jiggly thing, which is something we'll look at later. Okay, so let's have a look under the hood and see what sort of keyframes are involved in doing something like that. If I press the letter U, like this, all of a sudden we see what's called um, um, code. Let's call it code, I suppose. After Effects does have code, and that's what's making it do that little jiggle thing. Now, that's far beyond the scope of what we're doing here, ah, but we do have keyframes here. So let's see what they do. So. Really, these things, actually they're called expressions, I just remembered that, these things in After Effects. But they are basically code, and something we'll stay away from for a while. Okay, so what we're going to do is we can actually manipulate these keyframes here. Now again, if I drag it to the left, drag these two to the left like that, it should come together a lot quicker. So let's play that. and away it goes. As you can see they came together a lot quicker like that and if I just drag them to the right it will take a lot longer for them to come together. Okay I'll just go back there and play it again. And away it 
it goes. As you can see, they swirl around for a lot longer before they come back together again. Okay, now because we're a bit limited in our understanding of how expressions work, what we're going to do is, now to get rid of this, we really just, as you can see, there are no opacity um, keyframes here. In this, so what's really happening is we can't really get rid of it using this effect. But to get rid of it, let's say we want to get rid of it, say, at about 7 seconds like that. What I would do is close up that layer and press the letter T for opacity. Put a keyframe there at 100% and then fade it out over time like this. So it'll fade out to zero. Let's have a look at that. And away it goes. Does its thing. Comes together nicely. Does a bit of a wiggle for a while. And then goes away. So that's one way of using presets. Now again, some of these presets are really, really simple, like the bullet train doesn't have many options. This one, Jetstream, has um, what's called expressions involved with it. So we're going to stay away from that and we'll just use our normal transform functions to get rid of it off the stage. Okay, thanks for watching.